Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm jolly good today. I'm doing fantastic. Great. Good to hear. So, my name is Yasmin and nice to meet you. Yeah, so good to see you as well, miss. Great. So, um, would you like to start with some introductions? Sure. And did you want to start? I would like you go to first you, please. Okay, I will go first. So, yeah, like I said, my name is Yasmin. I'm originally from Australia, but I currently live in France. I'm um, 21, and in my free time, I like uh, reading books and running. That's amazing. So, yes. That's amazing. That's a little bit about me. That's a little bit about you. Sounds fascinating. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So I'm 18 years old and I'm from New Delhi in India. Basically, I'm a student and uh, about my hobbies, I'm an avid reader and uh, apart from that, I love to being out in nature and listen chirping of birds and uh, do micro photography. These are the things I love to do do that. Right. Sounds great. What what are you studying at university? My majors are uh, uh, English literature and uh, history. Okay, so what degree, what career do you hope to go into? Uh, um, like, are you want to know about my career? Like, which one uh, I wanna be in my future? You mean? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. I wanna be an English professor. Mm-hmm. Great. Well, this is a good start on <laughs> Engu. Exactly, that's that's a science totally. So where where did you find um Engu? Because I see this is your first class, so how did you find about it? You know, I just uh, watching something on uh, randomly like teacher's video or something, like native tutors video, and there is a teacher who, like suggest me to like uh, that is one of the uh, I asked that teacher like what is the best way to get new new words like vocabulary and things like to learn for English. And he suggested me like Angu materials uh, like for learning are free and uh, uh, that's why I joined this Angu. Yeah, it's a very good platform, and um, yeah, like like the teacher suggested to you, and like you've chosen in this article. There's so many different you know articles to choose from, from news articles to conversation things. So it's really good. Exactly. There are uh, a lot of varieties available here. Exactly, yeah. Um, and you said you like reading books. So yeah. have you read any good books recently? Uh, uh, nowadays, uh, I'm reading uh, The Diary of Anne Frank. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great. Yeah, that's so interesting. Yeah. And uh, I have learned a thing from that book. People can you tell you to shut off, like shut off your, your mouth, but they don't tell you to have an an open-minded opinion. Mm-hmm, true. And you can, um, yeah, you, you don't have to share your mind with other people. You can, yeah. you won't be able to speak, but you can still have opinion and, yeah, like you said. Exactly. So a and, good lesson that you learned. Yeah, and uh, all the people, like, uh, on a, uh, all uh, on are, like, good at heart. Like, most of people are good on their heart. There is mm-hmm. one thing also I have done. Yeah, exactly. And do you read it um, in English, those books? Exactly. Most of the time, I like to read in English language. And do you get books like from your library or do you buy them from bookshops? Uh, most of the time, I buy my myself and uh, sometimes, uh, you know, my uh, like school, uh, my school is also provide me like free of cost. I don't have to pay like any library charges, uh, just uh, they give me for many, many days. like. Uh, how many days I want, they can give me. Mm, good. Great. Very convenient. Exactly. Totally. Great. So, uh, would you like to start with the article for today? The top 10 places to visit in Australia? Yeah. I'm keen as mustard for this. Mm-hmm. I'm keen as mustard for this. I'm <laughs> eagerly awaiting for this. Great. Well, let's start in the vocabulary then. Miss, you know, so, uh, uh, mm-hmm. I would like to tell you, pardon please, 
know i have re- read that article by myself before your class and you know mm-hmm. there are some words uh, which i don't know and uh, i would la- uh, to ask you directly these words these okay. are two words first one is reef r w e f and second one is abrogenal a b r o g i a n a l mm-hmm. abrogenal these are two words so yeah reef is um in the, yeah in australia we have great barrier reef and it basically is um a collection of coral and uh, do you know what coral is can you write it down please miss mhm coral it's um under underwater kind of um a collection of coral so like and seaweed and where fish Mhm. Yeah, it's kind of um in shallow water in the ocean. A reef is like the collection of coral which is underneath. Not when it gets so deep in the ocean but where kind of fish swim. Exactly. Um, yeah. So that's reef. Um aboriginal. Yeah. Um aboriginal means native people. Native people like indigenous you can people. Use indigenous is the same exactly but um but some aboriginal people prefer to be called indigenous aboriginal Look. because um aboriginal and indigenous have bad connotations to some people so indigenous people can prefer to be called indigenous or aboriginal or first people so it just kind of depends on the person okay so like if i i have to use in a situation for something so which one is going to be much better like soft word like soft word i would usually say indigenous before saying aboriginal exactly i would like to give you example related to this kangaroos mm-hmm. are indigenous to the australia you could just say um kangaroos are indigenous to australia kangaroos you don't need to say the australia Uh, kangaroos are uh, uh, indigenous to australia mm-hmm. exactly yes. yes like that great did you have any other questions or of any of the words uh, you know i would like to know about like uh, uh, what makes you to move to uh, france and what are the differences that have you seen in france different from australia good question so um Last year actually I was living in Colombia in South America um on exchange and when I was there I met my boyfriend who is French so that's why I moved to France because mm. I met my boyfriend and it was easier to move here than to go back to Australia because of the pandemic exactly so that's that's the reason why I'm here secondly um main differences are Mm. One thing is that shops are shut in France on Sunday. Everything is shut on Sunday. It's like a rest day. That's Whereas true. in Australia, everything is still open on Sundays. There's no real difference. Okay. Um that's one difference. Um I guess here it's so easy to travel to other countries. like in Europe and other cities across France whereas of course in Australia because it's a lot bigger it's much harder um so that's some of the Miss, main uh, differences uh, i can uh, pardon think please of. pardon please you know uh, i want to tend more focus on own australian accent and you know i love uh, australian accent from the deep of my heart but when i started my english journey like uh, 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 um american accent is looking like quite fascinating for me when i but when i uh, do like go much more into like learning in english i find that uh, that is so like uh, so uh, exciting accent for me like australian and uh, i have mm-hmm. yeah like sometimes uh, there is a r in the end like uh, under like under they say like little bit like under something under and like water like water water Mm-hmm. i i also want to tend more focus on your speech also you are saying like uh, underwater something like that little bit different mhm yeah so yeah it's a bit different um and australian english we kind of um like we make words kind of long 
So instead of in in America where they would say things very short, Australians kind of tend to say words kind of longer. We extend them a bit. Exactly. Yeah. Would you like to tell me like uh, what is behind you? Like these bottles are quite fascinating for me. I'm looking from the starting beginning from the class. Behind me? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. These so are. So here. Yeah. These are here. There is some beer, beer, and then here is a fridge. <laughs> fridge, okay. Mhm. So I don't drink beer myself. That's um, my boyfriend's beer, so okay. I don't really know much about it. <laughs> so, like, it's uh, so like common to eat like stout uh, drink, like stout uh, in uh, 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 France for people. Dr- drink like what? Sorry. Uh, like stout, what like beer, drink? like stout beer. Stout beer. Yeah. I'm not sure what you mean, but like a lot of people drink beer in cans or in in bottles. Yeah. You know, I have learned this word like stout yesterday, and stout means like a barley, like thick malt type of beer, like a thick type of like malt mm. gravy type of beer. Something. Yes. Yes, I think this beer is. some italian beer and some french beer so would you like to show me like i want to sh- look on that um if it is convenient for you if it is convenient for you i mean just cuz my computer is a bit attached here okay but i don't know if you can see there sure sure yeah that's enough yeah. look, look for me i have seen yeah do you have much beer in um india uh yeah i we have much beer in india and uh, um, like uh, most of my uh, uh, like classmates like to uh, drink a lot of beer and swimming in uh, rivers and they drink a lot of beer and uh, eat like cuisine something at that time but to be honest with you uh, i have tried one time only in my life when i was like 6 to 7 year old mhm Oh, quite young. Yeah, and you know, uh, like uh, uh, it's by like a miss uh, miss uh, mistake, and they say me like uh, this is a not a beer. This is a type of uh, uh, cold drink. The size of mm. beer is like so small, like shorter, shorter, not much uh, like uh, larger. And they say that is a type of be like a uh, campa. And I you no, know, I just uh, drink, and after that, like. Uh, Ten or twenty minutes, I realize that I drink something strange, peculiar. Mm. So it was bad of the restaurant to give you beer as a child. <laughs> you know, the re- restaurant realize. not gives me. You can say like uh, I'm uh, went to in a wedding, and there are some uh, like cousin, my brother, something like cousin relatives. They give me for their enjoyment. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And do many young teenagers drink beer, or do they drink something else uh, in India? In India, like you can say, it is not much quite popular. But uh, you can say it depends on area. Like in which area are you living? In some areas, there are like uh, from a uh, early uh, childhood age, like beginning, they start to drink beer. But like some in some area, they are not like to take beer. Mhm. Okay, I see. And But uh, yeah, I can say like most yeah, mo- like uh, most of people are uh, nowadays going to turn on like beer for making their part of life. Mhm. Is it very cheap? Uh is it very cheap? Uh, I can say it is not much expensive. Not yeah, you could say not very expensive. It is not very expensive. Mhm. I see. So it's um very convenient to buy for many people. Exactly. So miss you know can we start the lesson right now? Mhm. How would you like to start? Uh, how would I like to start? You know I would like to directly go on uh, uh this questions uh, discussion. The discussion questions? Exactly. Okay. Have you ever been to Australia? If so, how did you find it? If not, would you like to why or why not? uh have you ever been to australia if so and how did you find it if not would you like to why why not for this question uh, i have not uh, not yet uh, been to in australia but uh, 
uh, I like to visit one time, uh, like a minimum one time to Australia. Mm-hmm. And um, um, yeah. yeah, why would you like to? Uh, I would uh, like to visit uh, to meet kangaroo and uh, to play with them if it is possible, and uh, mm-hmm. to to see wallaby, wallaby, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, apart from that, uh, uh, these uh, I want to see uh, Melbourne, Sydney, and Reef also, which you tell me now. Mm-hmm, reef, yes, yes. In Australia, there's a lot to see, and you know you can see desert, rainforest, um, jungle, cities, and um, and the reef. So you can see a lot of different places. Exactly. Um. Have you been overseas before? Uh, n- n- overseas, no. I have never been in any other country. Uh, I have traveled uh, in many parts of, of India. Which is your favorite to visit? Which is my favorite to visit? Uh, I love Rajasthan. Mm-hmm. So yeah. quite like desert. <laughs> yeah, you know very well about Rajasthan. Mm-hmm. Yes. Seems, I watched some travel videos on YouTube of people who had been to India, so I know a bit about kind of geography. Exactly, totally. You are absolutely right. <laughs> um, which of the places featured in the article would you most like to visit and why? Which of the one most uh, I would like to visit? Uh, one of my first preferences is to go the Great Barrier Reef. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I like it because you know that is so quite interesting. And from my childhood, you know uh, about Discovery Channel, Discovery Channel, like Net mm-hmm. Geo, Net Geo, National Geographic, this type of mm-hmm. channel I watch in my childhood for uh, watching like uh, ocean life, like ocean life, mm-hmm. like fish, this type of. And I like to in I like to do uh, scuba diving. Okay, yeah. and so do you know how to swim now? Uh, a little bit, not uh, like uh, perfectly, but I know a little bit. Okay, yeah. Well, I know, yeah, you can go like snorkeling. Um, Miss, and can you please repeat it, that word, like snorkeling, what have you said? Mm-hmm. Snorkeling. Can you please write it down? So, so. that's... Um, yeah, that's when you have like a little tube and you're just swimming on the top level of the water. So it's not scuba diving, but you can see like underwater for a long time without taking your head up because you have this tube that you can breathe through. So have you so, ever yeah. tried this one? Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, Great Barrier Reef, I went and did it there and um, in New Caledonia as well. So, have you ever uh, captured shot also, like camera photos from um, ocean? Yeah, I think I um, used a GoPro once to film underwater. But yeah, it's really, really nice because you can see like turtles and fish and everything. Oh, that's amazing. Totally. So, yeah. I recommend it definitely. Yeah, I would if it is possible. Uh, uh, you know, just cause of you, I have traveled all like most uh, famous places of Australia. Just cause of you. <laughs> um, which city sounds more appealing to you, Sydney or Melbourne? Why? Uh, which city is uh, sounds to most for me? I say uh, Sydney. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like uh, there is an opera house, harbour bridge, and a diverse uh, population. And you know, w- mm-hmm. I'm a history student, and I want to see this uh, indigenous rock art and engravings, engravings, which in mm. ki- ki- Ku Ringai Chaz National Park. I want to visit there. Yes, you can see a lot. Um. And a very, like, very old, like, most of it is, like, 20,000 years old or something. Oh, my gosh, that's so, so ancient. Yeah, yeah, very ancient. Um, do you prefer visiting natural areas or towns and cities when traveling? Please explain your answer. Uh, most of time, if it is possible, I like to being out in a, like, countryside area. You know, 
वी कैन ट्रैवल लाइक एनीवेयर लाइक सिटी लाइफ एंड दिस टाइप ऑफ थिंग बट दिस लाइक सिटी लाइफ इज नॉट अपीलिंग टू मी बट वेन आई एम बींग आउट इन नेचर आई जस्ट रियलाइज एवरी मोमेंट ऑफ माई लाइफ यू कैन से या आई लव टू सी लाइक स्काई क्लियर स्काई ट्रीज चिरपिंग लिसन टू चिरपिंग वर्ड्स एंड गो टू हाई ऑन माउंटेन्स एक्सेल एंड इन हेल ब्रेथ हेयर दैट सो मैग्निफिसेंट फॉर मी how to compare with city life so exactly i agree and you know city life is like you can say it's all about man creation but uh, this like countryside life it's a type of jungle creation like automatically creation you know about that beauty is untouched by human and mm-hmm. and when you being out in like untouched beauty by human then there is a another another sense of feeling you will feel yes yeah exactly yeah exactly well um it seems that we've come to the end of the class already so yeah thank you for the class yeah <laughs> i really enjoyed this whole session hey glad to hear yeah uh, i would like to tell you uh, i have an, another platform of, of also like learning english but you know uh, for me like uh, Uh, i feel that most of time uh, like uh, australian people like uh, they have uh, a sense of something teaching in a, another different way and uh, in a so like easy and understandable way they are teaching right yeah, glad to hear i'm glad to hear then yeah like most of time uh, i had never disappointed to taking class with australian people never ever good well on angu there's a lot of australian teachers so yeah it's yeah. good Oh that's it means a lot to me in future i will do most of just like you uh, with you also and another australian <laughs> i will do ton okay. of reservation great okay sounds good so have a good uh, rest of your day yeah well have a wonderful day <laughs> being out with Bye. your boyfriend and enjoy <laughs> uh, relish every moment of your life thank you see you see you soon bye bye